Hello friends, it's Kat. Welcome to Distant Bloom, an upcoming cozy management sim that has us playing on an unknown planet and we basically have to work together with our friends and our crewmates to take care of this place, replenish, revitalize, and create an environment that can flourish once more. A huge thank you to Kinda Brave for inviting us to check this game out and for sponsoring this video. The demo for Distant Bloom was just announced at the Wholesome Games Wholesome Snack, <laughs> the Game Awards edition, and it's available for a limited time on Steam, so if you wanted to play along with me, I will leave the link below, and let's just see what this game is all about. Please keep in mind that this is a pre-alpha demo. Absolutely. So somewhere at the edge of the universe, a colorless planet covered by dark clouds. Its inhabitants are desperately sourcing the skies in search of a new home. Large telescopes peer into space, piercing the veil of galaxies. Cold gas giant, lava planet, barren world. But maybe there. We hear some cheering, a tiny planet, colored by pleasant greens and blues. Twelve brave altars and a small robot are sent on an exceptionally long journey. Are we called altars then? Their mission? To build a new home and save the future of the altar species. Ah, is that why we're traveling around and that's how we find this new planet then sleeper sleeper wake up assistant and kiki kiki <laughs> i'm awake i think the sleeper 547 500 cycles stand up awakener oh is this all right, rise and shine, my friend. <gasps> Help! This must be... is stuck. <laughs> this must be the new planet, then. Let's help him get out from under there. Wait, don't run away. Hey there, bud, don't be scared. Big thank you, Untrapper. What happened? Air, mem memory data incomplete. Are together, safe now. Yeah, but my cryopod is completely broken. And where is the hearth ship? Detached. My pod detached from the hearth ship? Did it separate during landing? Yes, yes, detached, crashed, trapped. Um, ki Kiki. Kiki? Should we just call him Kiki for now? Or is it Kiki? Like cake. <laughs> um, are you okay? Run at diagnostics. Untrapper nearby. Kiki protect. Yes, I'm here, don't worry. Can you locate the hearth ship? Outside at radius. Then we'll have to search for it. The elder and the others might be in danger. Let's get away before this thing goes boom. I was just wondering about that because if we crash landed, where is the rest of our ship, I wonder? Shiny. That's a, a ras barrel. Okay. I was gonna say a raspberry. That does not look that at all. <laughs> okay, well, I see some flies here. Is that something we can interact with? Ooh, there's another one there. Oh! <laughs> well, at least now we know there's no fall damage. At least I think so. But I'll still try not to go to the lava. <laughs> something shiny here. Can I pick that up? No, what's going on? I really don't know if I'm going the right way because there was another way up up there. Can I jump? Jump. No. Okay. 
Ooh. What's that sound? Accessing mission guidebook. All elder assistants are provided with standard issue equipment. It includes one backpack, one scanner, one tool belt, and a large portion of positive attitude. All right, sorry, I'm still shaking from the crash. There we go. So we can probably scan this. Is it supposed to look like this? It matches the guidebook entry on herbs, but it's dead. Hmm. So can we do... Onwards plant scanner. This icon tells you a plant's growing state. Keep an eye on it. Well, it is... It's definitely dead. So I wonder... Hold on. I'm going to go back this way and see if there was anything else back here. Because I'm not sure if we can go back um, later on. Or was this lake? Oh, okay. So maybe we were meant to go this way. Well, everything looks absolutely destroyed. There's no plants around. Oh, oh there's another uh, rasp barrel here. <laughs> okay. Big splash. Up or down? I guess up is another one of these. Another shiny. Can we jump down here? No? Here? Okay. Where there's no rocks, we can jump down. Oh. Don't want to fall in the lava. Oh, there we go. What's this junk doing here? Pod crash? Too old and rusty, but how? This planet is supposed to be untouched. Why would I pick up someone else's trash? Research. Uh, I'll need a lab coat for that. <laughs> and I don't have a lab coat, but I can hand this over to our actual scientist if they're awake. Okay, let's do... How do we scan again? Is it a uh, space? I see. Metal that you found scattered. Perfect. And let's scan this other thing too. Got it. Well, which way should we go? Ooh. Kinda wanna go this way because it looks like more metal. Here we go. A cool rock. Oh, okay. So we can move things around. Um, anything here? No, the gold shiny stuff, I guess, isn't for us to pick up, hey? Mm. Something else to scan? No? Well, it's not letting me, so maybe I'll go around this way. Discovered cliff paths. Nice. More scrap metal. I wonder what the other way was because it wasn't letting me scan anything. So I am really curious if we can go back to those areas later because I'd hate to miss stuff. Did we land on the wrong planet? Accessing last registered coordinates. Mission destination reached. Then why is everything dying? What about this plant? It looks different from the last one. Scan again. So we were meant to go here then. We didn't just like land here, I suppose. <sighs> it's a different species. Looks like a fern of some sort. I wonder what other types of plants are there. Oh, wait a second. That... Let us scan it. So I wonder if I just didn't take out my scanner earlier. Is there a way to go back? <gasps> no, did I mess up? Let's see. Oh, here we go. There's more of that stuff. 
Another cryopod. Whoever's inside is sound asleep. Should we wake them up? Absolutely. <laughs> Follow safety regulations. Only the mission leader may wake crew members from cryo sleep. I really hope the elder is safe. Otherwise, this altar will be in there for a long time. No more sleep is lonely. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll come back for them. Um. Oh, we're not allowed to wake them up. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like we couldn't have been able to extract the other um, metal upstairs or something. Keep um, jumping. Elongated cloudy herb and a twisted oval tree. There's lots of plants here, but they're clearly all dead. Okay. Oh, this was it. We're on the other side now. Rock hoppers pod. Oop. So we found a cave. Wait, did he find another pod? What? Oh, that's where we came from. That's our pod, right? That's what he was talking about then. Right, okay. There's nothing here, so let's press on. Hmm? It's so dark. Oh, I see something flying. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> okay. More metal. And more ras ras barrel. Whoa, there's so much stuff here. And this was the other entrance. So I'm sure we can probably go back to these areas later on. Beep beep. What is it? Hearth ship within radius. <gasps> You're right, I can see it on my scanner now. Oh perfect, this is your compass. It shows points of interest and the time of day. Oh great, okay. We're getting more and more things, I guess. The more that we explore and the more we um, get closer to our ship, maybe. Discover the fields. <gasps> there it is. It's so big. Okay. Uh, go down. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my gosh, is there anyone here? Is this the elder? Elder, you are awake. It's Elder Umaral. Umaral. Of course I am. A robot could not be in charge of landing the hearth ship. It is a delicate task which I executed flawlessly. So you meant to detach the cryopods? <laughs> detach? Ahem. <coughs> Naturally. <laughs> Super believable. What did you see on your way here? Um, I saw another Altus pod. Intact but locked. Of course, I alone hold the security key to open them, which makes your presence here... Yes, presents here are quite surprising because we actually got out of our pods by ourselves. Um, it was damaged. I woke up on the ground and found Keiki trapped by debris. Big oof. <laughs> oh, I'm... S well, you are here now and you can start assisting me. Assistant. <laughs> Should we wake up the other altar? All in good time. We need to set up a home base first. Uh, they could be in danger. The pots are there to keep them safe. Yours was just unlucky. <laughs> Enough about this now. Uh, was there anything else? Mm, found this junk scattered around. You picked up trash from the ground? <laughs> it's really strange. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Strange how? I have never heard of a planet without trash. Have you? No. Speaking of which, I need you to move all this junk out of the way so we can start unpacking. Report back to me when you are done. Oh, pick up scrap metal around the ship. Witness, trash picker. <gasps> it's blooming. Ooh, I had no idea plants look so pretty. <gasps> Wait. Look at that. Happy, happy. Oh, that's so fun. 
Is this gonna bloom too? Nice! Oh, I love that. So the more we clean up, I'm guessing, um, where the planet's gonna be replenished. Right? Is there anything back here too? Yes, there is. Okay. Let's have that bloom. Oh, <gasps> a new little seedling. Oh, cool. <gasps> Wait, is it the whole area around the ship? Oh, how pretty. Are there any more here or is it just... Oh, there is this one. We can sit down. Phew. <laughs> Take a little break. I think we deserve it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. But these larger ones, we can't do anything about yet. I think that's all I can clean for now. Yeah. Distant bloom. Oh, that's so pretty. Unusual activity. Where? Follow Kiki. I wonder what these egg look looking things are. They're like eggs on a chair. <laughs> Big root. Scan, scan the root. This bar shows how many plants you've healed in an area. Keep going. Oh, a bit of life is coming back into this root. Where lead? Inside the cave? Uh, well, I can't really see. We'll need something across the ravine. Uh, hope we had our builder here. We have to come up with something on our own, but that's for later. The elder is waiting for us now. How cool. All right, well, there is much to do, I'm sure. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's showing that it is alive now, but we still have much to do. Let's go report back to our elder. Goodness, this is this place not a tad too green? What did you do? Uh, I cleaned up the trash. Cleaned? Did you pick it off the ground again? How... <laughs> How else can we clean the trash? Elsewhere is soon forgotten, as the old saying goes. Now we should wake up the Bahan so they can set up the exonutri processor. I'm getting quite hungry. Was it them I saw in the pod on my way here? Could be. Ask the robot to lead you to them. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take the cryopod security key. Off you pop, both of you. I thought only you're um, authorized for that. Did I tell you about the time? Never mind. Can you show me the way to the flavor chemist's cryopod? Position detected. All right, let's get going then. Well, that's handy that we have um, Keiki to show us where to go because I'm not the greatest at directions, as you guys know. <laughs> not that we're in a rush to get to uh, get anywhere I suppose but the elders hungry so I'm sure uh, what the elder wants the elder gets <laughs> and oh we're here perfect knock knock hello it is Bahan oof my back wakey wakey Oh, well, that's a face I wasn't expecting. Did we arrive? Yes, we're on Ultra 3 now. Is that what this planet is called? Thank goodness, I don't think my bones could have taken one more day in that pod. And the others, are they well? It's just us for now, but the Elder thinks the others are safe. And I was looking forward to seeing everyone again. I guess the Elder is waiting for us at the hearth ship. Let me get my things before we go. What in the name of the plentiful is this? What is the shovel doing in my pod? Did I sleep on this thing the entire journey? No wonder my back is killing me. Haha. -ha. <laughs> it's not funny. I must have a mark the size of Ultra 2 on my back right now. Go easy. Here, I'll take this off your hands. 
we could probably use it to plant more things. Thank you. I don't want to see that thing ever again. <laughs> we got a new tool. Thank you. After you. All right. Let's get going. Oh, okay. So then that is probably... We can probably use that then. Oh, perfect. Here we go. And we can get more scrap metal. All right. Where was the way again? I guess we should be able to- oh, here we go. Right. We were hopping the rocks earlier. Oh. So we should be able to do more of this now. Oh. We're seeing more green on the ground too. Perfect. And now this should be an easier way to get to the ship, right? Oh. Now we can access more things. Also, <gasps> look how much green there is here. Right. <laughs> I always get so easily distracted. I just want to explore in all the games, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Hello, Elder. Bahan. How good to see you, Elder. I would have naturally come to wake you up myself, but uh, I cannot leave the hearth ship in the hands of a greenhorn. <laughs> no worries, your assistant has been very helpful. Good, then leave it to them to set up your tent. A tent? Wasn't Ryza supposed to build homes for us? Protocol dictates to set up basic facilities before waking more crew members. Food first, then shelter. Um, uh, why can't he set up his tent? You're the assistant, yes. I need each of you to attend to your role. Tell Bahan when you are done. There's more to do next. All right, it sits in the hearth ship. Here we go. Where should we set him up? Oh, it's telling us where. Well, he's getting a nice spot, isn't he? There we go. Your tent awaits you. So you set it up after all. All right, let's see it. By the way, the elder wants us to install the exo nutri processor. Could you carry it from the ship while I unpack my flavor capsules? Sure. Um, I also just want to clear these really quickly. Beautiful. Look at that. So proud. Alright, let's get this for Bahan. Here we go. Nice going, I've had my fair share of curing these things, but my back still hurts and I wouldn't want to drop it. <laughs> That's the limited series processor, you know? Then they should have made it lighter. <laughs> I hear you on that. Now all that's left is to find something to put inside. How can we know what's safe to eat? Metal scrap. Uh... Ultras can't eat that. <laughs> Maybe the elder remembers something. The great wilt happened before the time I became a flavor chemist, so I don't know much about the organic ingredients. But I'll look around to see if I can find anything. Keep an eye out too. Okay. Elder, do you think we can use the plants in the processor? Naturally. You may be too young to remember this, but they used to be added to food. But that was a long time ago. Um... Why did we stop using them? We simply ran out. Most plants on Ultra 2 disappear during the Great Wells. Uh, that's probably why they're looking for a new planet. Um, of course, but I've never really understood what happened. Why did they die? Only the plentiful knows. I've heard some similar wilts happen before, yet none so severe. 
That was a long time ago. Mm, how did you use these ingredients? I'm no flavor chemist, but I assume the same way we use synthetic ones. Just dump them all in the processor and sprinkle the flavor you want on top. I once met an I once met an altar who used to select every ingredient individually. What an eccentric. <laughs> Yasmar, I think their name was. But that was a long time ago. Thank you, Elder. All this talking made me hungrier. I feel you. Um, okay. Uh, oh. Hold on. How do I get out of this? Hello? Oh, there we go. Thanks for walking with me. So do we just... Do we have to collect some plants then? Oh, here we go. Harvest herb seed. Seeds? Wow, I've never seen one before. Uh, let's take a closer look. It's protected by a hard shell. It must be really important to the plants. How can anything grow from such a small thing? Hey there, any luck? Come here, look, I found some seeds. Excellent, I couldn't find anything, but these will do just fine. Now let's get cooking. Are we actually... Oh, there we go. We were taking it then, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Okay. One. Let's use that for now. We made jelly. Jelly's ready. Well, look at that. We might make a flavor chemist out of you. Cakey tastes. <laughs> you can have a little jelly as a treat. How can you say no? Certainly not. The robot might be redundant now that we landed, but I will not have it malfunction because jelly stuck in its gears. Fair enough, but I do want him to have a little treat. <laughs> now let us eat. I am starving. Nom nom nom. Nom. <laughs> nom. Nom. <laughs> Ugh, this jelly is disgusting. There's no seasoning. And what happened to the flavor? I didn't want to say anything, but the processor's flavor infuser must be damaged. No need to overreact, just fix it. I can't. This line was recalled from the market because of an accident involving a hamter. Exoco couldn't give us any spare parts. Oh, in the name of the plentiful, <laughs> then we have no choice but to eat the jelly as it is. Elder, with respect, I've had to make some very questionable flavors in my career, but this is unbearable. On my pride as a flavor chemist, we must do better. <laughs> then what are we going to eat? I don't know. I need some time to clear my head. Hi. What a mess. I think you guys are totally overreacting. And it's probably fine. Let's see. What a mess. Elder? Oh, what now? Um, is there anything I can help you with? I was just thinking this whole food processor business. Bahan's dedication to their job is admirable, but knowing them, they will sulk over that jelly for a long while. Can we even eat it if we can't pick the flavor? What else can we do? Eat raw plants? Perhaps it is time to wake up Ryza. Hopefully our reliable builder can repair the processor, or at least talk some sense into Bahan. I updated the data cloud, so now your scanner should pick up the signal of nearby pods. Of course, Elder. I'll go look for Ryza right away. Okay. Locate the pod. It's pointing southwest. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh. Was it this way? No, it was out up here. We don't have to sleep then, I'm guessing, because it's nighttime and we can just go. Uh oh. We can just clear it, no problem. All right, let's see. Where is our friend Ryza? We discovered the hills. Wonder how big this planet is. 
<gasps> Look, do you think it's sturdy enough to walk on? Root bridge. Wait for me. Perfect, okay. Cool. Um, and it's further southwest. Find a way to reach the pod. The cliffs are less steep north of the coastline. That's right, but it's lodged into the other side of the cliff. I don't think we can reach it from here. Let's find another bridge. Uh, let's see, we have to go north here. Is there a way here or do we have to go back up? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think this is the way. <laughs> I definitely didn't see that because of the dark, but you know, I've been wondering, I don't really know how plants work, but there's a way to grow them, right? Ask seed. I don't think they can talk, can they? Let's put it in the ground instead. Use shovel seed planter. Okay. And plant it. Let's see what happens. Oh, when I planted the herb, the other plants grew too. Is that a tree and a fern? Herb, fern, tree grows together. Yes, maybe the plants are like us. Having neighbors make them happy. I bet the other plants have seeds too. We can harvest some and keep growing different plants next to each other. To fully grow, a plant needs two neighbors of different types. Okay. So let's harvest the th three then, and my guess is we'll probably have to plant this. This is an herb, so that means we should plant a fern and a tree. There we go. How's that looking? <gasps> Oh, I love it. Okay, and there's one more here that looks like a tree. So let's plant an herb and a fern. Nice. Oh, it looks so good. I should probably harvest while we're at it. And there's the way up. Perfect. It was kind of hard to see. Um, oh! My bad. There you go. <laughs> it was hard to see the way in the dark earlier, but um, I'm glad that we were able to find it. So, here we probably... We need to do this again. <laughs> So that's an herb. So we can put that. And plant a tree there. Tree seed. There we go. Here we go. Oh, look how nice that is. We got another root. Perfect. When you have like a big area that is uh, planted, it looks really nice. So let's 
carry on here for now. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at that. So there is a bit of um, that kind of puzzle aspect too of what plants you should place down. I love it. <gasps> this is exciting. I love this. This is really satisfying as well. Alright, let's keep going. We're almost at the pod. Should be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Rise and shine. Wakey, wakey. How did they get out of the pod unless... <gasps> no, did we forget Ryza on Ultra 2? Keiki, guard pods, builder on ship. Ah, Ryza left a note. Read. Well, I am the assistant, so... <laughs> Heading to trifurcation 13710 coordinates. We'll go to hearth ship from there. But we're supposed to go to the ship if we get separated. I never thought Ryza would break the rules. No pathfinder lost? I doubt it. They're heading somewhere else. Typical Ryza leaving. No details. Let's bring the note to Elder Umaral. Umaral. Umaral? Okay. <laughs> Let's go this way so that we can dig these up. I love seeing everything turn green slowly. Let's go back to the elder for now. To the base camp. Oh, elder. We've got someone who broke the rules. <laughs> Elder, I found Ryza's pod empty by the plentiful, but they left a note. Why did you not start with that? <laughs> Nearly gave me a heart attack. Give it here. Mm -hmm. It is addressed to me, but I can see it has been opened. Not by any nosy assistant, I hope. <laughs> Let us see. Heading to... Ryza ventured out to some unknown coordinates. Why would they do that? I have an inkling, but no matter the reason, this is unacceptable. I thought Ryza knew to follow protocol and come to the hearth ship. I will try to locate where they are headed. Until then, stand by, assistant. Sounds good to me. Let's talk to Bahan here. Ugh, I'm so tired. I'm not surprised you've been running around all day. I was going to say the same thing. He's doing everything for everyone. <laughs> Why don't you take a break? Come, let's light the campfire. Ooh. I don't have my automatic lighter with me. There's barely any flame. Low oxygen level. Maybe the elder knows how to do this? They were probably around when the fire was discovered. Okay. Elder, can you please help us? <laughs> Bahan and I plan to hang out around the campfire, but I don't know how to start it up. Try finding something you have in common. That is always a good first step. <laughs> oh, I meant the fire is not lighting up. Ah. <laughs> He's talking about a different fire. <laughs> I can't, of course, show you how to do it. Just give me some time to find my tooth hoot. Your what? <laughs> Let's wait until nightfall. Entering rest mode. Ah. Oh, I didn't realize that was an option. Okay. The elder's coming. Hi. Hi. <laughs> now let me show you how to start a proper fire. You just need to blow more oxygen into it. Good thing I brought my tooth hoot. Tooth toot. Tooth toot. <laughs> With me. Inhales. So it does literally toot. That's too funny. Exceptional. Oh, my ears. Is the tooth hoot necessary, Elder? Not at all, but it is certainly entertaining. <laughs> I used to be in a tooth tooth band back in the days, you know. I see. Uh, 
Do you still play? Uh, not much these days. Why not? <laughs> Personal reasons. That's cool. Um, what songs did you play? Oh, what did we not play? Take me back to Altar 1. I want to be an elder. Altar Love. Oh, that's my favorite. We mostly played covers exclusive with, exclusively with two thoots. Goodness. <laughs> I see. It's getting late. Yes, let us retire for the night. Sleep well. Keiki, not tired. <laughs> oh, you want to explore some more? Why don't we go back to check on the plants we saw when searching for the ship? Good. Um, we can check on the route as well. Maybe figure out a way to cross that ravine. Okay, well, since we're here, let's check on the route first and then... We can explore more later. Look, Keiki, the root is growing across the ravine. Plant healer did good. Nice. Ooh. Wow. Strange wall or is that a door? It looks ancient. But how? I had no idea this planet was ever inhabited. Ooh. Can we go in? Whoa, it's opening by itself. <gasps> what is that? Was that a voice? Again, you? New friends. Keiki. The robot just ran in there. And that takes us to the end of this demo. If you want to play for yourself, it is again downloadable on Steam for a limited time at the time that I'm posting this gameplay on my channel. And also you can add it to your Steam wishlist through the link down below as well. It is such a cute and wholesome game, definitely deserving of its announcement with the other wholesome games during the wholesome snack <laughs> presentation. So what I like about games like like Distant Bloom is that it just doesn't feel like there's a rush to do anything and with that obviously you can take your time um, just exploring and in this case replanting things, revitalizing the planet. I'm super curious to find out um, where Ryza went and why he or she didn't follow the protocol. I want to know what's behind that door <laughs> so that was a big um, cliffhanger for sure but this has been so much fun if you guys um, watched along or played along with me and you made it to the end i appreciate you as always and a huge thank you once again to kind of brave for inviting me to do this gameplay demo for distant bloom for all of you thank you so much for watching as always be kind to yourselves and i will see you next time